Let's go into a little video about Arbitrum. A lot of fun this morning about this coin. Saw someone, someone in the group posted that devs are rugging it. I didn't, you know, I just opened the chart and started looking. And I saw that it was down like 8%. So I'm like, okay, well, let's just find out, you know. So we don't know what's going on with the news or anything. I, I started reading articles. So I'm just like, I'm going to find it in the chart. So we just found the highest volume. We'll filter out by the highest volume of Arbitrum there is. And I mean, the first thing you know, you know me. I'm always pulling my my fib. First thing I noticed, like I I got there within the first three minutes of it of this happening, of this crash down. And you're gonna see a, a recurring theme here. This eight eight six level, okay. This global level that we've been, uh, and even better, the seven eight six, which is the best retracement for all coins. You'll see exactly where we've been bouncing from. I mean, essentially perfectly. Okay. Again, the 886. Another 886 level right here. Absolutely. What? So, oh, it, it didn't hit? Oh, what? Front run by 0.3%? Sure. Another one. I mean, it didn't stop. You know, so when I start seeing this level, we've shown that we've bounced. And technically, this actually is right here. You have to forgive me. And there's our bounce again. And it just goes on and on. And really no other no other technicals were really needed to me after like the fourth or fifth one. And I saw that. And once we actually reclaim a certain level that I can go into, maybe I see this one's already done as well. The 86 perfectly. And here here we have the spot crypto showing everything. I mean, really, if you don't know your Fibonacci as and you're not solid at them, then you, you have no idea what this level means. But this is the last level of support that we have at where we are. So what do we do? We just worked our way up. And once we reclaim the 786 for all these, you know, it, it, I'll go to the lower time frames and show you. We essentially reclaim these levels. And once we back tested it, it came up. I mean, granted, right now, it is being dealt with currently. There is Bitcoin is not helping us out at all, doing us no favors. Yet we're they're still going up. It's you know, actually kind of surprising. But nothing but higher highs and, and lower highs right here on this upward trend. Just for the uh, this is a local, of course, local downtrend. And uh, but still, something tells me we're in this channel here. And as long as we keep holding this, you know, we can range trade the heck out of this. Or I'm currently in long. I'm not even range trading it. I'm just gonna move along. But you're gonna see the same pattern of it, just you know. In some of these exchanges, actually, uh, if we go to like the daily, let's zoom out just a little bit. You can see that we pull this global fixed range. I don't know which one's which. That's, I'm not really positive. Um, there's like four or five exchanges that were going off of this. This is our global volume profile. Let's see if we can. We're actually gonna be doing this in real time to find out where we are as far as resistance overhead. So right here, look, real easy, just mark this level out. You can tell for sure when we come into this contention, right around here, this global value area low, that we're gonna have some uh, some res pretty decent resistance there, you know? But for the most part, um, yeah, of course we do wanna reclaim this on certain exchanges, but I think the ones that matter the most Really, you know, it's going to be uh, some of these futures. Yeah. With, with uh, a lot, a lot of volume. But I don't normally trade shit coins or anything like this, you know, but what would lead me to put a, a decent position size on this? Just the technicals, you know. And we did get, we did get stopped uh, on, on our first one, you know. And uh, upon... A second look of it, of it, you know, realized that I didn't quite touch the 886 on, on it yet. And I was like, dang, well, we got stopped out. And that was on Bybit. I'm actually, I don't even think I have Bybit on here. I'm missing that one as well. Bybit does get a little funny with some airdrops. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we don't have Bybit on here. So let's take a look at this. It's going to be consistently different. 
Wow. I'm just realizing this. This is hilarious. Is this really? I know it's on there. Oh, this is better. Don't tell me I did this. I don't feel so stupid. Okay, there it is. <laughs> I was like, that's air weave. <laughs> okay. Actually, I think Binance has third most volume. Let's see what happened here. Okay, so our entry. Let's just actually take in real time. Let's take a look at where we're at here. 1.1798. Need to readjust this. 1798. Okay. You see where my my uh, where this is. Let me readjust this. Make sure this is extended. Yep. So, point of contention would my personally would be here. We're still at three. We're at three and a half on risk reward right there. And actually, I think I'd like that to even be. I just need at least three. I'm happy with three there. Um. I would put I would place it below though this wick and then this eight eight six here. And a lot of people probably didn't catch this though equally as well because they may be on log or you know, it just it hasn't been really volatile enough to um need log mode, you know, it hasn't had enough history to for it to be in log mode. So a lot of people may have missed this move, you know, because their fibs are a little bit off. And that's why this why it's an important lesson to be in regular mode. As often as you possibly can, but you know we, we do need log mode for assets like you know long history, real volatile stuff like there's just stuff you can't you're not gonna be able to uh, do it with you know. I mean of course like everyone knows this example right here like if we're on the monthly chart for Bitcoin and like stuff like this like we can't see what's going on down here we need log mode for that you know to even it out. But if you can be on normal mode, be on it. So. That's Arbitrum, and uh, yep, killing it right now. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet, and so that's it.